You may have never heard of brushless cooling fans. I'm not surprised. Automakers only started widely using them about 10 years ago. What you do need to know though is they are insanely powerful. And what makes them so powerful is these fans are made with brushless motors. They are more powerful than any aftermarket fan you can find and way cheaper too, as little as one fifth the price. But that's actually not what's most impressive. It's how they cool your engine that is the most amazing feature. But there are actually seven amazing features you get with brushless that you don't get with the fan that's currently in your car. And did I mention they are super affordable, easy to install, and that they last forever? I'll explain. But first, a quick history of car fans you may not know. Automakers used mechanical fans for many decades, going all the way back to the early days of the automobile. They are terrible for a few reasons. They rob power from your engine, 15 to 30 horsepower. They're always on, even when you don't need them on. And since a mechanical fan spins the same speed as the engine, it moves very little air at idle. That's the worst. It cools the least when you need it most, like when you're stuck in traffic on a hot day and they're also annoyingly loud. The 1970s fuel crisis created a need for more fuel efficiency, so electric fans became more common. GM first used electric fans on luxury cars, but even in the 80s and 90s, almost all GM trucks were still using terrible mechanical fans. GM trucks didn't get electric fans until around 2005. Brushless fans became popular as horsepower numbers increased in the 2000s. Also, customers wanted quieter and more refined vehicles too. GM first started putting brushless fans in luxury and performance cars in the mid-2000s, and GM trucks didn't get brushless fans till 2013, but by 2016, almost all GM fans are brushless. But why did GM and every other automaker make the switch to brushless? There are seven reasons why. Number one, these fans are powerful. How powerful? One way to measure the power of a cooling fan is CFM, which means cubic feet per minute. What is a cubic foot? It's about the size of a basketball. So a 4,000 CFM fan moves 4,000 basketballs of air past your radiator every minute. Fan companies rate their fans using CFM, but CFM is not so accurate because these companies measure their CFM differently. So it's not a very reliable number to focus on or use to compare different fans. You never really know how much CFM you are really buying. When comparing fans, it's better to look at amp draw or wattage of the fan motor. How much power the fan uses better determines its true capability. Some of you may be familiar with the 1990s Lincoln Mark 8 fan. It's widely considered to be one of the best OEM fans ever put in a passenger vehicle. That fan uses 40 amps at full speed, but you can't find them anymore. The fan I'm going to show you in a moment blows this fan out of the engine bay. It has almost double the power of the Mark 8 fan, but the beauty of the brushless fan is it almost never uses that much amperage unless it absolutely has to. In fact, 99% of the time it uses less power than your current wimpy brushed fan. How is that possible? That's coming up. At the end of this video, after I go through the seven reasons brushless fans are so good, if you are interested in installing one in your own vehicle, I will tell you how to get my fan swap ebook. It's $25 and will explain everything step by step on how to put one of these new cooling fans into your vehicle. This is the ultimate high power brushless fan and the one that gets all the attention among enthusiasts. This was installed in the 2016 to 2021 Camaro and Cadillac V8s, but this fan is widely known as the ZL1 fan since it was even strong enough to cool the Camaro ZL1 supercharged 650 horsepower engine. This fan has 70 amps or 850 watts of power and you can find these fans for as low as $200 and it even comes with a super nice built-in shroud. And this page is right out of my ebook. This and five other fans are listed in my ebook. All six are brushless and powerful. Each fan has a page that includes fan size, their powerful specs, and three purchase options, new, used, or reproduction. Two of the fans listed in my book are wider dual fans for trucks and SUVs and cars with wide radiators. There is a fan to fit your vehicle, and all of the fans in my ebook are super powerful, modern brushless fans like this one. The book also includes a link to a super affordable fan controller that is also the most customizable controller around. This book takes out all the guesswork and busy work, saving you time and headaches. 
You cannot do this swap without a fan controller, and almost all the fan controllers out there cannot handle these powerful fans. This controller is amazing. More on that coming up. This ZL1 fan is getting harder to find now because more and more people like you are learning about these new brushless fan swaps. If you want to do this fan upgrade, now is the time to get these before the prices go up or they disappear altogether. The number two amazing brushless fan feature is one of the major benefits of this new cooling fan. A brushless fan is designed to run only as fast as necessary to keep the engine cool. Instead of constantly running at full speed, off and on, these new fans use PWM control. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulated. Just a fancy way of saying the controller tells the fan exactly what speed to spin depending on the temperature of the engine. The amazing part is this new PWM controller continuously adjusts fan speed based on real-time temperature data from the engine sensors. When the engine is cool, the fan spins super slow or maybe not at all, conserving energy and reducing noise. As engine temperatures rise, the controller gradually increases fan speed to provide just enough airflow to keep the engine at the temperature that you set on the fan controller. And because the fan controller and fan are so good and powerful, the engine temp never changes. But these fans don't just plug in and use a relay like an old school fan. You need a fan controller that can do pulse width modulation. The ebook explains exactly what controller you need and how to wire everything. It even includes a wiring diagram. Number three, OEM fans. My ebook recommends OEM fans. That's because an OEM fan is a fan that's been designed by and installed by a large automotive company like General Motors, for example. OEM fans are better for you because they are more durable and last longer. They've been developed and tested by some of the best engineers on the planet. Before a GM fan assembly ever reaches production, it undergoes thousands of hours of lab testing, exposing it to extreme temperatures, vibration, humidity, and voltage fluctuations. These tests often replicate more than a decade of service life, pushing components well beyond what they'd experience in normal driving. GM fans are also tested in harsh desert conditions. Many automakers, including GM, actually have their own private desert proving grounds. Vehicles are run for thousands of hours at 120 degree heat to verify they won't die. They are also tested in super cold conditions too. GM and other OEMs go up to northern Canada and drive for thousands of miles. The OEMs even also have special cold rooms where their cars are tested for weeks at a time nonstop. All this makes these OEM fans tougher. Aftermarket fan companies are not doing any of this. They design a fan, source parts from US or possibly Chinese companies, and then maybe assemble it in the US so they can say made in the USA. And then they sell it to you. Costs are high too, since they may only sell a few hundred. OEM fans cost much less because automakers make millions of them. This combination of controlled lab testing and punishing real world testing means OEM fans last longer. My ebook has links to only these OEM fans. Number four, brushless fans are more efficient because the fan only runs the exact amount that is needed and they run super slowly most of the time. This taxes the alternator less, giving you horsepower. Sure, it's probably just one or two horsepower, but it all adds up. Plus, a brushless fan motor is so efficient, it actually uses fewer amps per CFM, so that actually saves some power too. A special note to anyone out there still using a mechanical fan, you are losing 15 to 30 horsepower. Engine Masters proved this. If your vehicle still has a mechanical fan, you should be installing a brushless fan setup today. I have a link to that Engine Masters video in the description, as well as a link to my brushless fan swap ebook. Number five, brushless fans are also quieter because they run at lower speeds. You want to hear your engine or exhaust, not your fan, but there are other benefits too. A traditional brushed fan has carbon brushes that ride on a commutator. This constant contact creates sparking, friction, and electrical noise which gets worse as these contacts wear out. Brushless motors don't have any of this and they run at a more controlled and smooth speed with less vibration and they speed up and slow down more slowly and smoothly. These fans also use newer computer optimized blade designs which also helps keep noise down. Benefit number six, soft start. An old school brushed fan can pull 60, 80, or even 100 amps for a second at startup. A brushless fan has soft start which eliminates this issue. This protects your vehicle's battery, alternator, wiring, and fuses. It also reduces voltage drop to other electronics in your vehicle. The legendary Lincoln Mark 8 brush fan will draw around 40 amps at a normal voltage, but it has a shocking 100 amp spike when it starts up. My recommended fans will never spike your electrical system like that. 
When a brushless fan turns on, instead of instantly sending full battery voltage like a brush fan, the controller ramps up the power gradually, smoothly increasing the fan's RPM over a program time curve, usually around two to four seconds to reach full speed. There is no sudden blast of air or vibration or light stimming when the fan kicks on. The whole process is almost totally silent. Brushed motors wear out. Brushless fan motors use electronic control and permanent magnets to drive the motor. They have no brushes to wear down or arc, so brushless motors generate less heat and experience very minimal mechanical wear. They only have a sealed bearing they spin on. This means a much longer lifespan, quieter operation, and far less maintenance over time. No moving parts means they're more resistant to dirt, moisture, and vibration, things that often destroy brushed motors. My ebook contains six different fan sizes to choose from, from small to extra large, and two sizes of dual fans too. If, after hearing the seven reasons why brushless fans are insanely good, you are interested in installing one in your vehicle, my ebook is only $25 right now and will explain everything step by step. Remember, used powerful OEM brushless fans are way cheaper than mediocre aftermarket new fans, so the $25 price of this ebook will actually save you a ton of money. You'll have the best fan you can buy, an advanced and customizable fan controller, and you'll spend way less money too. So this ebook saves you money and gives your vehicle the best cooling setup. I also have an ebook and videos on how to swap a modern 8-speed automatic transmission into any car. This thing is the same size as a Turbo 400 or 4L80 and it has eight speeds and holds 700 horsepower in stock form. This is another swap that's taking off right now. Most people don't even know about this yet. This thing is actually totally bulletproof. Some people are running a thousand horsepower through this and eight speeds will make your car faster. Auto Guild is bringing you the best and newest car mods. Check out this ebook if you're interested in this swap. Finally, are you curious about an LS swap for your vehicle or even afraid to do an LS swap because you think it's too difficult? Or do you just want to learn more about the LS engine to maybe do a swap one day? I want you to know that my 250 page LS swap survival guide ebook is here to help and it's available now at autoguild.com. You may be wondering, is it any good? No, it's amazing. See the testimonials from viewers like you on the bottom of this page. All ebooks are available at autoguild.com. Links to all ebooks also in the description. Thanks for visiting AutoGuild and good luck with your project.